we took a decision that we would establish a faculty of science and engineering that would bring together our strengths in science, our strengths in engineering, and provide new programs of study that were appropriate for the area we're in, the industries we work with, the professions that we work with, so that all our students and all our potential students have the opportunity to study science at the highest level and to be able to progress into employment that goes with it. The course that my colleagues have developed uh, on our behalf is a very practically focused chemistry degree which has its roots in a number of sectors which will allow you to specialise. It introduces all of the major facets and specialisations which relate to our research and importantly offers a sandwich year training for the graduates of the programme. We are investing to ensure that the university remains relevant in this area, that we are connected, we have relationships with schools and the graduates that come out of our courses are attractive to industry and will find jobs and make a good career. One of the key aspects of the building, you will be able to see the young ones who will come into this facility working. You will also see our students working in real time. So we have the opportunity to ensure that the public will be able to observe the work of the university in real time. There is a huge demand for graduates of chemistry in a wide range of fields and British trained chemists are in demand throughout the world. And our external advisor for this course said to the team, I think you're developing a high quality product and I wish that every success in relaunching undergraduate chemistry at Wolverhampton.